A cyclist is rounding a 19 meters radius curve at 13 meters per second. We want to know what is the minimum possible coefficient of static friction between the bike tires and the ground. So we can see that we have a circular path that the bike is doing with a radius of 19 meters. There is a blue arrow always pointing to the center that represents the static friction. It's always pointing to the center no matter the position of the bike on that uh, circular path. And opposite to that static friction, we have a centrifugal force that is not an actual force, that's just an inertial effect. So the summation of the forces in the x, but I actually mean the summation of the forces in the direction of the center, is equal to m b squared over r. b is given and r is given too. So we have that the friction force is equal to m 13 squared over r, to the normal force, times the coefficient of static friction. This is the Fs max. That's equal to the mass, the m, and this 8.8947 is what I calculate by computing the numbers. So the normal force is preventing the bike to trespass the ground, that's the normal force, and the mg is going downwards. Because this bike is not changing its position in the y, I mean it's just on the floor, the summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So fn minus mg is equal to zero, and we know that fn is equal to mg. Then I'm going to replace the fn that I just got, I know that is equal to mg, into the equation in the green box. And I get that mg times the coefficient of static friction is equal to m times 8.8947. I can divide by m and cancel out the m's, and we know that g is 9.8. I do some algebra and I get that the coefficient of static friction between the tires and the ground is equal to 0 0.9076. Remember that this coefficient of static friction is a scalar number, it doesn't have any units. Ok guys, I hope that this video was useful and remember to say hi in comments, let me know like anything you want to know, any comments and say hello. Bye, guys.